Radio FM. Radio has never been better. What is up? How is it going with you? This is the movie show on Active FM. I'm Sash. My name's Ryan. And we are doing our our yearly our yearly movies coming out for and then whatever year we are in or going into 2024. Yes, Yay. that's the one. That's the one. Yeah. Great films coming up. Exciting I, times. I think there's some great films coming Exciting. up. Exciting. No, there there are great films. I think they were a shame. There must be holding back quite a bit of films. After that, the, yeah, the actor strike definitely. I mean, there were films yeah. that were supposed to come out in 2023 that unfortunately did not. But but maybe it might just come at the right time. Yeah, you know, maybe so I think it's maybe a good we idea. weren't ready back then. Maybe they were. No, <laughs> okay. <laughs> maybe I would have never watched it. <laughs> okay, so I, there are there are quite a few films. So I think are. we should just jump straight into this. Yes. So I'm gonna give we Ryan and I have both looked and we've kind of yes. picked our like top. Top films, and we're yeah. just gonna we're gonna yes. go for it. Yes. yes. Okay. So number one, this isn't in order of like favorites like, or anything. Yeah. This is just in like we're just throwing them out. Yeah. Okay. So the first film I want to mention is a film called Damsel. Now, Damsel mm. was supposed to come out in 2023, but it was obviously pushed back um, due to uh, things happening in 2023. But Damsel is a 2024 action adventure film with Millie Bobby Brown. Oh. And the whole thing was about um, a young woman agrees to marry a handsome prince only to discover that it was all a trap. So, you know, the whole damsel in distress. Yeah. So they're obviously playing on that. Um, mm. Yeah, but I'm looking, I'm looking quite forward. I was looking forward to this film in 2023. So, like, I'm, I'm, I'm still looking forward to this film. It's on my Netflix. Remind me. Oh, list. is it? Yes. So this is a Netflix film. Um, I don't know actually if it's going to be released in cinemas, but it is a Netflix film. Damsel, Millie Bobby Brown. Mm. Yeah, should be good. Mm. Yeah. One of the films that I'm definitely looking forward to, <laughs> and I think because it's his comeback, is The Fall Guy. Yes! Because Ryan Gosling. Ryan I'm Gosling. like, yes! No, He's yeah, back! And, and he's he, back! Didn't he direct it? Uh, uh, I think no. he's directing. Is he not directed directing it? Directed by David. By the way, da David. Uh, David Life. I think that's how he's pronounced his name. He did Bullet Train. Oh, okay, yes. Okay. So in this film. That's cool, though. Ryan, he's a stunt double. Uh, oh, yeah, th that's right. He is a stunt and, double, yeah. And, and Bullet Train was brilliant. It was it's brilliant. It's got like a comical, like really action, like really 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 cool stuff and it's got emily blunt in it as so yes. from what i've seen ryan gosling is this this the stunt the stunt guy yeah but this like over the top stunt, stunt guy. guy like you think the guy he's done a stunt go and the trailer's already out go go check it out you yeah, know it looks very i'm good. like yeah he's back he made it back he's like i have to make a really 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 cool action like stuff yeah, happening. after barbie <laughs> yeah but it looks like there's a bit of a like a twist to his character in the film, but it, it it's awesome and it looks yeah. and it looks hilarious and it looks like really really cool. No, it does look so very good. I'm yes. looking forward to this film. Same director as the Bullet Train, and it's coming out in May. In May, there we go. 2024. All right. Yeah. Okay, <gasps> my most anticipated movie. It was actually of 2023, but it was also pushed back. Now it's it's definitely on my. I, I think I have more than one most anticipated movie, but definitely in March, people, we are getting Dune Part Two. Woo! <laughs> yeah, so we we literally waited the whole of 2023 for it to come out in November, and then it didn't come out in November. Luckily, we got Hunger Games. That that uh, Hunger Games kept my heart hungry. Uh, yeah, I was okay because Hunger Games was really good. Um, yeah, but now in March we will we will be getting our beloved Dune Part Two. I'm very excited for Dune Part Two. Definitely mm. going to watch it in IMAX. Definitely. I haven't watched an IMAX film since Star Wars. Serious? I watched. I think the last film I watched in in IMAX was Dune Part One. Yeah. So it only makes sense, you know. Yeah. For anybody who doesn't fully understand IMAX, if they think that it's just a big screen, you're actually getting a bit uh, more extra film on the top and the bottom. <gasps> yep. There's actually videos you can check, like even on Instagram, they sometimes they post them. Mm. They show you the difference yeah. between like just the normal cinema and the IMAX cinema. Yeah. So you really do get more. I feel ripped off if I don't watch it. Yeah. Which is why I should go to IMAX. Yeah. Great Definitely. point. Next film I'm looking forward, and I think it's specifically because of the director, and it, it could go good. And it could go bad. And it could go bad. <laughs> we don't know. But I have I have a good expectation for it. But I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. And I know that you're going to say it's probably something about... The, uh, I, I suspect that your expectation is not good. Oh, okay. All right. And I understand it. Okay. Like, I, I completely <laughs> understand. And, I, and I'll probably agree with you. But let's find out. So, 
Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. Oh, yes. Directed by Wes Ball, uh -huh. who did Maze Runner. Mm. Director of Maze Runner. Yeah. No, I actually saw the trailer for it, mm. and I actually will watch this one. Is it? Like, I thought the last... Because they ended the last, the previous one, like mm -hmm. it was the end. But they... they No, I, I definitely am going to watch Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. I was shocked to see it was coming out. Do you think that... Um, that the ape is the ape the, 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 the Caesar yeah yeah no it is Caesar so yeah he, he's in it but who is his standing who is his voiceover who are you is saying Andy Serkis wasn't in it I'm not seeing his name on the actors list just saying Hexig. unless the because it is Caesar starring and I don't see yeah I, 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 don't, I don't see him that's crazy exactly maybe they just like used his voice from like the previous <laughs> ones, you know, they didn't need him, and then they just like got someone to do his body movements. Mm. That's gonna be interesting. But no, I will, I will watch this, especially because it's the director. If Wes Ball directed Maze Runner, I am all in. I am a big fan of Maze Runner. Yep. Maze yeah. Runner was good. There you go. Yeah, I'm actually excited now ah. for it just because of that. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Next up. So in April, twi uh, April the eighth. Uh, wow. 26th of April, 2024, there's a film coming out called Unsung Hero. Now, Unsung Hero, if you know the band for King and Country, oh yeah, right? This is their basically like biopic. So it tells the story of how, because they're quite a large family, how they came from Australia to America. For King and Country has a song called Unsung Hero. And so um, that, that this film is about them. And um, Joel, you know, the, yeah, the one yeah, of the yeah, brother yeah. Joel, he's actually playing their father in the film. So I'm actually looking um, um, forward to this. I think it's going to be a pretty cool film. Um, I think it's released. It was the same, if I'm not mistaken. It's Angel Studios. I could be mistaken, though. Which obviously was the, is the same studio that bring, that's brought us The Chosen. As well as Jesus Revolution. Yeah. Yeah. So... That that looks that looks pretty good. I think I'm also looking forward to yeah. that. I think it's gonna be a, a solid film. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then the the next film on my list is Ghostbusters: Frozen yes. Empire. Yes. And this is a continuation from the other from one. From the yeah. Yeah. But technically, the other one was a continuation from the first uh, one. Oh. But with this one. No, but this is yeah. This is a. Uh, and everyone, as far as I know, ah. everyone is reprising their roles. So Paul Rudd, Finn exactly. Wolfhard, exactly. all of them are reprising their Had roles. Have you watched the trailer? I've seen bits the of the trailer. The trailer's out there It already. looks good, yeah. Now, I'm, I'm also looking forward mm. to, to this one. I'm definitely, yeah. definitely looking forward to. All right, next up. This one, I don't know if you even saw it, Ryan. I didn't see it until I went and watched like trailers coming of movies coming out in 2024. I think, I stand to be corrected, but I think it also is a Netflix film. It is a film called Rebel Moon. But this film looks solid, Ryan, and it has Charlie Hannum in it. What? This film, Charlie it, Hannum. it looks so good. And even this guy, Ed um, Screen, I know him from somewhere. I just can't put my finger on it now, but I know him. Oh, he was in, um, what was that movie? Midway. Do you remember that film, Midway? Yep. He was in yep. Midway. So he's, but this film, it just, it, it looks so like, it's sci-fi. It is sci-fi, but it's also, okay, it, they say action adventure, but it sets on another planet. So it's got like that, that like sci-fi element to it. But it looks so good. I'm, I'm actually really excited for this. I'm really pumped for this film. And director is Zack Snyder. Ah, could be so good. This one, because he is a good. He, yeah. he's, I mean, he took. Um, was it DC? What the 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 DC action heroes? The the yeah, but he Justice League. Justice League, and go. and he re, he like made it. Yes. He like pumped. They still released the Snyder cut because exactly. everyone was unhappy with the exactly. first version. He was like, "That's not how it's done. This is how you do it." And everyone was this like, "This is yeah. how it was supposed to be done." Exactly. Yeah. So I'm actually I, Rebel Moon is on my highly anticipated film, even though I don't really know much about it. Mm. But um, I'm I'm actually looking really forward to. I've that got film. expectations yeah. for that film. Yeah. All right, another film uh, which is coming out in May is directed by John Krasinski. All right, ah. and it's called If. Oh yeah. I haven't seen anything of it. All right, but it's it's got it's got him and Ryan Reynolds in oh, it. Oh wow! Are you serious? Yeah. Uh, the only thing that I know is is this is that both of them also star in this film. By the way, so they so, so directed. Okay. And uh, developed this fantasy comedy of obviously with Ryan Reynolds in it, also written okay by John 
A young girl who learns she has the ability to see imaginary friends. In, uh, hence the title if, if. That, ha- that have been abandoned. Reynolds and uh, Krasinski. Krasinski are joined by massive voice ca- casts that uh, includes. Ooh, Matt Damon. Wow. Mm. Okay, this this Steve is. Steve Carell, Emily Blunt. Ooh, okay, and th- there's quite a few other good actors here. This is going to be so a solid comedy film, man. Right now, it's got John Krasinski, exactly. Ryan Reynolds, Steve Carell. I'm. I'm looking forward to so seeing. it could be very very good yeah. no I, I don't see any artwork any anything Which like means that it could be pushed back but so it kind of feels like like a very unknown yeah uh, a very anonymous kind of film yeah. so uh, that's basically in may may talking about john krasinski and may in june <laughs> july <laughs> In June, A Quiet Place Day 1 is coming out. Mm. Now, I'm not sure exactly. Um, so, this, I know it's a, it's like a, a spin-off, right? Yeah. Or is it a prequel? But, but it's obviously, it's in the whole um, A Quiet Place yeah. franchise. Um, if I look at the, the cast, it does have Emily Blunt. Um, <gasps> it has Joseph Quinn in it. And he was the guy from, he was... Um, Oh my goodness, I can't believe I forgot his name. This is horrible. He is in Stranger Things. He was the new character that everyone loved. What was his name? I have Billy in my head. Billy was not the name. I cannot believe I forgot this dude's name. This is so sad. I'm ashamed of myself. I'm going to find his name. Which film? He was in Stranger Things oh. season um, season four. What season are we on yeah, now? Yeah, I don't think I watched it. I didn't watch that. You one. didn't watch it? No. Season... Uh, I will find his name, people. I will find his name. And then, once I've found his name... But anyway, yeah. So that's coming out. And I, 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 I think it would be... I think it would be pretty cool. Mm. Yeah. Because it's... I mean, the Quiet Place films have been... They have been good. Yeah. Yeah. But it's not It's not directed by, by John, is it? As that far as I saw. That is a very good question. I saw that it wasn't directed by him. I was like... Nip. But I feel like he wouldn't give it over to someone who doesn't It would be interesting trust. to see, yeah. It yeah. would be interesting to, to actually see h- how that turns out. So, so we'd watch it to see how it turns out. Yeah. Might even do a better job. <laughs> you see? You never know. Yeah. I can't believe I forgot his name. There you go. Eddie. That's Eddie. his name. Oh, wow. All right, wow, Eddie. Eddie. No. Yeah, no, right. You Sorry. don't know. But uh, uh, the fact that he's in it makes me want to mm. go and watch it more. Mm. So that's a quiet place in mm. June. Okay, yeah. June. And a film that I'm not looking forward to. <laughs> For real? Is Transformers 1. Oh, wow. Yeah, that was Directed, even on the list. I still haven't seen that. What? I animal animal uh, something. Ki- animal yeah, Kingdom animal something kingdom, like yeah. that. Uh, the trailer, I was already like, mm, nope. If it ain't done by Michael Bay and watching it, I won't give it a chance. Yeah, no, I'm that, with you. That's just personal opinion. So you can watch it. Maybe, it. maybe it was a great film. I don't know. But anyway, Transformers 1. Uh, directed by Josh Cooley, which I think it was, no, the last one was Ryan something, I remember. But listen to this, starring Scarlett Johansson. Oh, wow. Chris Hemsworth. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is like Avengers Takeover. Ah, so there I'm just like, yeah, and many other actors, I'm just like, what? Okay, so. Okay, no, the cast does look good, Aaron. Coming in September 13th. Okay, Josh, who's the director, did Toy Story 4. He's done Inside Out. Mm. He's done... A lot of cartoons actually he did up. Wow! Like, has he ever not done a cartoon other than this? This is his like first. So this is probably okay, his I'm first actu- real life. Ryan, I actually want to watch it just to see what it's like. Okay, there you go. There we go. Talking about Inside Out, Inside Out Two, people, yeah. is coming out. I thoroughly enjoyed Inside Out. I thought it was a solid comedy. I mm. mean, a, a solid animation. Mm. Um, and and the the character that's getting added is anxiety because you know they're all emotions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. yeah, but that's Inside Out Two, and it's coming June fourteenth. I am looking forward to that. Might go. not watch it in June, mm. but I will watch it in July. <laughs> 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 and coming in November, which is my birthday month, I should have uh-huh. you know. So for my birthday, I'm going to go watch Venom 3. Ah, yes! yes! Not directed by Andy Serkis, but, but directed by Kelly Marcel. It's still got Tom Hardy in it, so yeah! yeah no, good there with you Tom go. Hardy. With going, opening on November the 8th. Don't know which country, it's not telling us, but there you go, Venom 3. And do you remember how, how the last one ended? So this one's going to be like, hmm. Mm, this one's going to be good. What's going to be happening? Mm. Yeah. All right, um, there's a film coming out, which I'm actually very excited for, but it's on the um, the list of 
the basically unconfirmed release dates. So I don't know if it's going to come out in 2024. Mm. Hopefully it will. Ready Player 2. Wow. Right? Yeah. How cool will that be? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if Steven Spielberg is directing so we it. We don't know much, but we know it's coming. Yeah, but they say that it is coming out in so, 2024. So there's a possibility that we will do it next year, but there's also a possibility that the next time you hear it is when you're saying "Films coming out in 2025." Yep, and then be like, ah. "At this part, one year later." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Another film that's coming. I don't know if you saw this film, uh, Madam Web. I did. I don't know how I feel about it. I I was also like, "Mm." yeah, I I don't know how I feel about it. Because it's another superhero movie, right? And it's another one about (laughs) Spider Man or Spider something. Uh, Yeah, no, I don't know how I feel about it. That's in February. So in February, we'll let you know. Yeah. Or you can let another, us know. Another one I don't know how I feel about is Snow White. So Snow White is coming out in March. Yeah. Um, there's been a lot of hectic backlash. Maybe we'll do a show about all of the backlash mm. that's happened. But yeah, Snow White, mm. um, that is coming out in mm. March as well. well. Yeah. Another film coming in July is Despicable Me. Oh, wow. Do you feel like there's been too many now? There's been too many. <laughs> I, I don't even know if I watched the last one. That's what one. I wanted to ask you. I was like, let's look at Steve Carell. Uh, Say so maybe for the kids, you yeah. know, do it for the kids. Well, they better... T- do something darn good about it. Maybe, yeah. maybe they will. So far, I think it's worked. I, I think it's worked out. They always bring some interesting character in. Yeah. So July the third. Don't know which country, but there it is. It's coming out. Yeah. All right, we have a good film coming out in March on March 29th. Spider Man Beyond the Spider Verse. Oh, is that in March? That's in March. Well, I, ju- I just got TBD. Oh, okay. On this site, movieweb.com, it yeah. says March. Yes. So hopefully they are right. Yes. And they're not playing with us, Cause, you know? Because we need to know. Yeah. It's a cliffhanger. That is a cliffhanger. At least it's under, yeah. Not like in game. Yeah, true. Although I heard it got pushed back because of the actor strike. So I don't know. I That, that release date could Maybe. be wrong. But um, yeah, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Either way, it sounds like it Beyond, will sorry. Beyond the Spider-Verse. Yeah, we need to know. Yeah. I know that... Um, Okay, no, here on Google, it just says June. No, that was 2023. I don't know, people. We will find out. Hopefully, this yeah. film will be released this year. Yeah. We are not sure. Yes. Hope so. Yeah. All right, another film in September. It's my dad's birthday, so I'm going to take my dad to go see Beetlejuice 2. I'm actually looking forward to this With now. Tim, Tim Burton. Yeah. Who did the yeah. first one? No. He did do the first he one. He did do the first one, he right? He did do the first one. Yeah. yeah I'm sure he did the first Michael one. Michael Keaton. Mm. Wow. Yes. Oh. But I need to watch Beetlejuice 1. Yeah. Because I actually haven't watched it. Definitely. It was a 196... No, sorry. 1988 That's right. comedy horror directed by Tim Burton. There it is. It's pretty impressive that they're wow. doing... Is Winona Ryder in it again? I wonder what made it... Yep. Oh, okay, no, I'm definitely... Wow! Oh, and Jenna Ortega, which makes sense because she plays Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Wow. I'm actually looking forward to this now, but I need to go watch Beetlejuice because I haven't watched Beetlejuice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, another film that is coming out in June is Mission Impossible 8. So, obviously, that, that one also ended on a cliffhanger. Yep, there you go. So, we're getting the next one. Mission Impossible 8. Still going. Tom Cruise. I, I have a feeling it. it's going to be the last one. Or maybe he's not even in it. No, he is in it. How do you know? Because the, lo- the last one ended on a cliffhang. Could be a spin-off, you know. <laughs> I highly doubt it, but uh, it he's could be. He's pilot, you know. His pilot has stories to tell as well. Wow. Exactly. Yeah. You never know. Yeah, I'm out of films. Okay, I have another one, which I'm actually very excited for. Furosa. Really? Which I think... Why have I so heard Anya Taylor-Joy is playing the younger version of the war rig driven um, Imper... Imper... Whatever. whatever Furosa, is. which is the prequel to Mad Max Fury Road. What? Finally! I'm like, yay! Because I loved Mad Max Fury mm. Road. And it has Anya Taylor-Joy, Chris Hemsworth, um, and other people in it. Tom Hardy? No? Yes? No, it doesn't have Tom Hardy, yeah, yeah, yeah. which is very sad. I'm sure he's somewhere in the background. You know, Hopefully. You know, in that whole thing through the <laughs> through the desert, you see yeah. him in the background, you know, because she was... You see a car. Exactly. You see him <laughs> in the back there. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, wow. <laughs> yeah. You have to feature him in it now. Another interesting mm. film that's coming out is The Gladiator 2. Really? Which, as far as I know, is a... a um, so Ridley Scott returns to direct mm. the sequel to the historical epic Gladiator, which was obviously with uh, what's that actor's name now? His face is there. Mm. That he's oh wow, Denzel Washington is in it. Oh, haven't seen him for a while. Um, 
The, the Australian actor, man. Is he Australian? I think. I don't know he was Australian. He's not Australian. I don't know who you're talking about. <laughs> he actually is in a he's in a film that's coming out. He's in Craven the Hunter. You know there's that's that probably movie, when Craven you bring the, the name up, I'll be like, oh yeah. Starring Russell Crowe. There we go. Russell people. Crowe. You can't forget Russell Crowe. Except we forgot Russell Crowe. No, just his name. We were thinking about him. And then apparently there's a karate, the Karate Kid movie coming out. Yeah. Don't know about that. Also, The Lord of the Rings, The War of the Rohirrim. That is a very interesting. Different director. Yeah, there's a different director. But it's Peter Jackson was like, And then they're, they're also bringing out a Mufasa, The Lion King. Mm. They're bringing out Sonic the Hedgehog 3. Yeah. I don't understand. I do not understand. They're just really trying, you know. I don't understand that They're like, one. okay, that didn't work out. Um, okay, let's... Okay. Okay. Wow, no. And then they're bringing out another Godzilla... Godzilla. Uh, uh, versus Kong. Godzilla. I, I, I haven't watched the Godzilla. recent one, though, so I don't know. I, I, can't, I can't vouch for it. <gasps> Robert Patterson is acting in a movie called Mickey 17. It says Southern South Korean director Bong Joon Ho follows follows up with his Academy Award winning film Parasites with this adaptation of the sci-fi novel Mickey Seven by Edward Ashton. Robert Pattinson stars as a disposable employee, one whose body is regenerated with previous memories intact every time he dies on a mission to colonize a distant world. Sounds like theories that people have, you know. Sounds very interesting. I haven't watched Parasite, but I've been told to watch Parasite. At least so it's not a superhero movie. Yeah. And then the other film that's coming out, Ryan, you probably aren't interested in this. They, they are bringing out a new Mean Girls. <laughs> you know they had the old Mean Girls. It's coming out in January. Yeah. I will Tina take, Fey's in it. I will take my wife to go there see it. There we go. It. Not for her birthday. Because the birthday's not in January. Then you just to go see it. Just a date, you know, mm. a casual date. Mm. Yeah. But there are pretty good films coming out in 2024. Yeah. Hopefully they don't get pushed back by anything. Or something happens and... Release the movies and then go and strike. I feel like they must also release the movies that they said they're going to release. Yes. Like Ready Player 2 mm-hmm. and yeah, films. They must, they, must, they must keep it to us, you know? Yes. Yeah. But I'm excited. It's going to be a good year. No Marvel films. Wow. No, there is. Craven the Hunter's Marvel, isn't it? We just decide. Marvel's at that point in life where we no longer men- mention the Thunderbolts. Don't know what that is. Mm. That's a Marvel film. Nice. Craven the Hunter. Is Craven the Hunter not Marvel? Why have I thought Craven the Hunter is Marvel? Is it not? We are about to find out. It is Marvel. Yeah. He's Marvel. Okay. But it's weird. Do you know Do you know what it's about? He gets blood from a lion in him. So basically, instead of Spider-Man, we have Lion Man. <laughs> but now it's Craven the Hunter. Okay. So I, I, really, I saw the trailer. Uh, Russell Crowe's in this film. Craven okay. the Hunter. Okay. All yeah. right. Cool. He's the dad. But I don't, know, I don't know how I feel about it. I don't know how I feel about Marvel in general, eh? Yeah. Yeah. So. Okay. Cool. Anyway. This has been the movie show. Movies oh, coming out yeah. in 2024. On the movie show? Yeah. Setting out. Cheers. Peace.